it back finally with another Grand Theft Auto 5 video. Um, first of all, it's glad to, I'm happy to be back because my channel's kind of been dead the past few days. Um, and second of all, I'm actually doing two car customizations today, seeing as I haven't been on for ages. So I actually took the liberty of buying the minivan and the Sabre Turbo, and we're going to be customizing the lowrider variants of those cars today. So this car is in fact already a low rider because and it's a bit tail happy but this car is actually already a low rider as you can probably tell that's because I actually done a stream earlier today and I had a few issues with it but I'm back online and I've just restored the car to stock when I first got it I've actually got away through it but anyway I'm back I'm streaming and we're going to be customising both cars right now so, in case you guys are wondering, this car does in fact cost 490 grand to upgrade to a lowrider. Pretty expensive, but the car itself is actually very quick. So, upgrade the brakes, and for the bumper, I'm going to do the same as what I tried to do earlier, and go for just the standard extended chin spoiler, or actually the custom chin spoiler, sorry. And I'm going to keep the back bumper chrome, and then I'm going to have a stunt roll cage, and then for the engine block I actually went for the custom block chrome and then the air filter I just went for the standard vertical ramp pipes and I've actually still got level 4 engine but who cares anyway well, one thing I've noticed is actually between levels 2 and 3 there's a massive change in acceleration you got level 1 boosts it a little bit and then there's just a massive difference and then level 4 it's obviously off the scale I'm going to go for the side exit exhaust, I think. Should I? In fact, yeah, I'm going to go for side exit. And then for the grill, I'm going to... I think I'm going to have... I'm going to have a black grill, I think. Let's see what hoods we've got. So, we've still got the cowl induction hood. We've still got the ram air hood. And the carbon hood. Uh, triple intake and single intake now I wonder in fact you know what for a change because none of my low riders have got a, a bug catcher on it so I'm actually just going to go for the single intake and just find out what we can do with this so uh, we've got hydraulic layout so we've got the twin pumps four in a row quad two by two quad and V pattern quad I'm just going to find out what looks the neatest. I'm actually, I'm going to go for the V pattern, I think. Looks the neatest. It just depends on how speaker layouts are going to work if we put speakers in it. So, the interior. So, we've still got the classic luxury v -lur, And we've got the striped interior. I'm just going to keep it neat and go for a striped interior, leather striped. Now, coming up next are ornaments, we've got mariachis, but I never put ornaments on my car, so I'm going to go straight down to gauges. Now, what I'm going to do is... Oh, wait, wait, what button did I... Ah, there we go, L2 to zoom. I'm going to go for classic 30s, but I'm going to go for negative, so it got a nice contrast against the carbon fibre dash and now for steering wheels I want to go for something classic like classic muscle steering wheel so the stock wheel is one of those muscle kind of steering wheels so I'm just going to try and keep it like that I like street rod only if it wasn't made of wood though I don't really think it actually matters Wait, we're at burnout and got wood. I'm gonna go for burnout, I think. And then just respray that down, different colour. Um, column shifters, I'm not gonna have on. And um, plaques, oh, I don't think I'm gonna have a plaque on either. I'm like, I'm being a bit plain, but I'm gonna have speakers in the back. Now lights. I want to have them, you notice they've got silver, I've got the negative style lights, so I'm going to keep them a bit bright, 
Not too bright. I'm going to go for bluish silver, I think. And that's the interior done. So the headlights. I'm going to keep stock. Ah, livery. I'm going to come back to livery. I'm just going to quickly respray the car. I'm going to go for a nice classic black, I think. That's primary and secondary. Oh. Black's always at the top. Black's always at the top. <laughs> bit embarrassing. Right, standard black. What can we do to the trim? Yeah, I was expecting this to be all black, but I'm going to keep it graphite. And I don't think you can see that. That's our new uni stance crew emblem. But anyway. So let's go back to library. And we'll have a little look. You can't really see much because there's some... I don't even know why there's still dirt up the car. That's a bit stupid, but anyway. So the blue outline pinstripe, yellow pinstripes. Ooh, I like the looks of those. I think those look nice on... A car that give probably give um, a yellow or orange a two tone effect with that. We've got royal stripes. Inferno. Oh, I know what this looks like. Oh, what was that car called off GTA 3? Um, it was a stallion. It was like a hot rod stallion. It had this vinyl on it. It did. I'm trying to think. The Diablo Stallion, I think it was called. And anyway, we've got Suicide Green, which is mainly, fo mainly focused on the roof. Swirl Pinstripe. There's, there's a lot of, looks more like a body vinyl. Similar to the, the colour of the Coquette Black tin. And then Royal Red. Oh, you can do something with that. Looks very similar to the one off the of Virgo Classic, actually. Preposterous blue, pur or purple, sorry. Oh god, these are just getting more insane. And then ballistic blue, which is pretty much the same, with just different, different pinstripe patterns and obviously a different colour. And that's it. I'm gonna um, go for that GTA 3 look and go for the Inferno plate holder. I'm going to go for the Skulls, I think, or Davy Jones. Vanity Plate. I just want something different than the standard look. I'm just going to go for De Classe. Wait, is it? Yeah, De Classe. And then the plate itself is just going to be black and white. Yellow, sorry. And then spoiler is just the same as a standard car, which I'm not going to put on. Race transmission. Ah, here we go. So we've got speaker box shelf, round speaker shelf, triple sub, premium and extreme. Oh, so this is the same as the Buccaneer. Well, on my Buccaneer, I've got the premium, so on this, I'm going to go for the extreme. They line up quite nicely with the hydraulic pumps. And if you look carefully, I think they're chrome as well. I'm going to put turbo on, and I'm going to see... I'm going to see if it's the same as the Tampa. I don't know if it gives it a supercharger or just a stupid char turbo you'd see on a street vehicle. Let's see what beach boats look on this. I'm not too sure, actually. No, nah, not at all. Not at all. No, definitely not. I'm just going to go for muscle rims. Have them in chrome. Yeah, you know, I'm just, I'm just going to go for the full GTA 3 look. I'm going to have stock classic rods. Pretty much it, I think. Uh, did the GTA 3 there? Could have side exit exhausts. I don't know. Well, anyway, that's the first car. Sabre Turbo. So let's take it for a little spin around the block, see what, how it performs.
bounce the hydraulics a bit. The hydraulics are quite good. You see me popping wheelies in a drag race. Well, it's over the tap. Wow, I like this. This thing's fast. We're popping 120 already. I don't know what upgrade that engine EMS did, but it's something big. <laughs> can hardly keep it lined up. We're going to have to have a race, I think. Oh, no. There's always that one guy that pulls it in on you. I think we have to have a race. This versus the slam van, which is the, the leading fastest lowrider to date. I don't know if anyone else has actually drag raced both yet, but if so, then I'd like to see which is the winner. But yeah, I'm trying to join the first person, but this is actually really quick. Acceleration, I'd say, anyway, for the most part. I'm going to have to try low in the back of this or speed camber it or something. But anyway, that's the end of that. We're just going to move on to the... The second vehicle that came out with this series of updates, which is the minivan, which was the replacement for my Tornado, because I absolutely hated that car. Although, Mooney BMW, my good friend, has actually posted a video saying you can get some pretty rare colours of it if you take the rusty variants of the Tornado into Benny's and upgrade them, it'll give them some pretty... Well, it gives them some pretty pale colours, but they're pretty unique because you can't put them on in the standard paint section. So, if you want to look at that, go over to Mooney BMW's channel. Shout out to him. Right, so here's the minivan. This is going to be my little soccer mobile. Right, we're going to have a race. Come on, power! Hardly got enough power to dual clutch this. Wow. Similar to that Chrysler minivan, isn't it? The only difference is the Chrysler is actually powerful. Right, so here we are. What you for? Minivan is in Benny's, and we're just going to have a little look at the customizations for this. I'm pretty sure they're going to be pretty similar to the Moonbeam. So. First thing I always do is to give it that extra bit of lowness. This makes the car slightly lower if you set the suspension to competition. And then go to upgrade. This is 330 grand for an upgrade, so let's do that now. I don't really think you can tell, but this is like with a slam van. If you put the suspension on the slam van and then upgrade it. Alright. Anyway, so we're going to go for race brakes. See, it's exactly the same as the um, Moonbeam, for the most part. I'm going to go for the sweet back ramp type of thing. Or should, in fact, I might go for a single air filter. Fully upgrade the engine. Dual, yeah, dual titaniums. And then... Bling grill. I do like my chrome, but I ain't putting that on. So, oh, this is interesting. We've got quad pumps, and then we've got a painted install. Yeah, we'll go for the painted install. Right, here we go, the interior. See what I mean? This is just a moonbeam with a minivan fancy dress outfit on it's just nothing special really it hasn't brought anything new to the table but unlike my moonbeam I'm I want to put them speakers on I had the primary colour custom but that big ass thing there whatever it's supposed to be is blocking it I'm just going to go for the primary colour extreme dashboard I think Uh, no ornaments. 
street racer. Can you go for street racer? Yeah, there it is. Street racer negative dials. Right, doors. Hmm. See, it's the moonbeam again. Oh god, no way. I'm gonna go for the audio file door speakers, and then for seats, I'm just gonna go for custom Here leathers go. and steering wheel. I'm is it that one? I'm trying to think. Which yeah, it's that one. Starry eyed. Same as my moonbeam because I think the steering wheel just suits it because it's like a van. Now, I've heard that this car is really good when it's stance, so I'm going to go for the low Santos right neon way. plaque, and then for the light colour, I'm going to switch to third person and find out what it looks like on the back. I have to do yellow, I don't like that. Where are all the blues? Have I missed them? Ah, wait. Marina, Diamond Sir, Ultra, Light. I'm going to go for... I'm going to go for light blue, I think. Yeah, light blue. And that's pretty much it for the interior for this car. I'm going for neon lights. And for pinstripes, or liveries, we got detailed pinstripes, retros, the razors. Classic, pure geometry. Oh, God, they're getting worse. They're getting worse. They're getting worse. Ooh, I like that. Flames on a on a me van. <laughs> Don't know what Die Hard is. I'm guessing it's some next level minivan wraparound kind of thing. I'm gonna brighten up the colour slightly to dark steel and have a little look at what that Die Hard is. Oh yeah, so it's pretty much the same as the Moonbeams library uh, once again. I don't know if you can actually see because of how dark it is, but it's a full on wrap like the one on the moonbeam. But I'm just going to go for something classic pinstripes, I think, or something like that. I'm going to go for the razor oh, pinstripes yeah. and I'm going to respray the car back to black. Um, plates. I'm going to go for low and slow. The vanity plate. I'm going to go for. I think I'm going to go from can get a black magnetic sort on now. Right, in that case I'm going to go for vapid. Okay. And then the license is once again going to be black and yellow. Uh, roof, we can have roof rails, chrome roof tracks, and chrome roof tracks and roof rails. Hmm. I'm just going to keep it standard. Might just have normal roof rails, I think. This car sells for 470 grand. Uh, roof spoiler. Don't look too bad. I'm not sure. Nah, I don't think so. Race transmission and the trunk. Triple sub. Pre oh, premium. All the sound. Premium sub trunk installed. Oh no, there it is. Yeah, we're back in Moonbeam territory. The only difference is this is just. I mean, look. Come on. Rockstar should think about driver safety. How the hell am I supposed to see that some rice around behind me ripping all my stuff out of my trunk? Unless I use the things called wing mirrors, which don't even work. No, I'm just going to put premium sub trunk install in, but without the neon. The neon's just. I mean, they don't even look like neons, they're just like stupid lines that have been painted on. Turbo, because this car needs enough boost. Now for wheels, I've got a set that may suit this. Where are they? They're in Benny's Originals. Ah, here they are. The spindle, spindles? I think that's how you pronounce it. But yeah, they look, they look alright. Where them rod me up? Yeah, here they are. Oh, smoothies. Nah, see they're low. They're the ones I've got my moonbeam. Now I'm gonna go for spindles. And then tires design. I was thinking if the blue. No, definitely not. But anyway, that's the second and final car I'll be customising for today. 
I'm not going to have tinted windows on it. And what I'm going to do now, finally, is stance this, find out how it performs, and then we're going to be going over to the airport and doing a speed run on the Sailor Turbo. I'm going to try and get a perfect launch on this. Wow. Look at that. Cars. It's not even powerful enough to spin the wheels when you launch. So basically, you get a perfect launch every time. Wow. I don't know what's slower, this or the, or the tornado. Right, I'm going to quickly break. And I'm going to use the combat MG to stance this. I've heard that this thing cambers when you stance it without having to kick it or pop the wheels to camber it. I think this thing just cambers anyway. Uh, by the looks of it, it does actually. Of course, that wouldn't apply to people like James because he absolutely appalls people's stance because of the bullet holes. But mind you, our new car meet system has improved the drives going back to Los Santos Customs. Now all we have to do is pick up a spanner. We do car meets in races now. I can hardly see the lights. Whoa! <laughs> oh dear! I can hardly get power out of this thing. I think it's time to put it out of its misery. Yeah, it's alright. I got moved to buy like 20 of those. Right, so we're going to be getting the Sabre Turbo back out. But I don't think the mechanic will allow a delivery there. The funny fucker he is. Save the turbo because I'll get there as soon as I can. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a standard run without stancing it. The second run will be stanced at the back, and the third run will be speed cambered or kicked eight times. Aiden Winter, you're a faggot. <laughs> Oi, say what you like about my cars, Aiden, but I got the point is, I got money to buy them. I've got no idea what a good car looks like anyway, Aiden. You're still putting lime green paint jobs on your Zentornos. Don't forget the dollar rims as well. <laughs> oh yeah, 50 mil are we, Aiden? Sorry. Kind of stuck now. <laughs> right, here we are. So I'm just going to do a standard run, a stanced run on the back, and then I'm going to kick it eight times. The speed cambered run. I don't know how that will perform actually, but we'll have a look. Your cat colours. Aiden, I don't think you have a clue what you're on about. I think you don't paint cats on duty yet.
Right, so that was the standard run. I'm now going to stand to the back for the second run. I'm going to be a bit cautious though because I've never stanced this car before. I'm going to keep my distance and just play it quietly. So it didn't blow up. There's the first drop, and there's the second. Oh, that looks good there. So we're going to do the second run, which is the stanced run. In fact, the car's cambered as well with its stance normally, so this car should fly. Double clutch it. So there's a hundred mile an hour mark. Hundred and twenty. Nah, I'm not going over one twenty on the stance run. So we're gonna do the speed cambered run, which is basically kick the back wheels eight times and we'll find out how it goes from there. So to line myself up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ooh, a trunk pop there, that's no good. And then the other wheel. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right, so this is the speed cambered run. I'm just going to check they both are aligned properly. Yep, that looks good. So this is the speed cambered run. If we can get this thing up to 140, that would be good. But it's not a lot seems to be happening right now. No, not even dropping the back on the hydraulics to help him. So now I can't see this car beating the slam van still, or the Banshee 900 R, and then obviously the leading champion, the Rapid GT, and then the runner up the Comet. Not a lot seems to be happening, so yeah, yeah, oh, that was pretty much it really, customising the minivan and the Sabre Turbo, I ain't really got a lot to be doing right now, but I'm just going to drive this car around for a bit find out how it performs around corners and stuff. First things first, I need to... First things first, I need to take it to Los Angeles Customs and fix it. No, wow. Oh, they, oh they're actually going to open. Yeah, I'm going to take it to Los Angeles Customs, um, repair it so it's not stance at the back, so otherwise it will corner horribly with its stance at the back. If the stallion was a low rider, then I, I, I would have thought they'd put this paint job on it again, like the GTA 3 one, but I mean, this car looks similar to it anyway, the back anyway, but the front, no, not at all. Look at the back wheels cambered. From a toad to a prince. I wonder if I'd have had to put a spoiler on it. Because sometimes if you put a spoiler on your speed cambered car, it actually it would actually go over like 150. I don't know. I'll address that in another video. But anyway. Oh. Prince Simmons is here. <laughs> As he calls himself on Twitter. I'm going to try it with a combat MG because that's what I usually use for stancing. <laughs> no, that didn't work at all. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh god. Right, <laughs> that didn't work. Good afternoon, James. 
I'm on the clock. What you want? Some wheels? No, I I'll get back to work. Fail, 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 fail. Morse Mutual. I'll tell you We're what here to do. I'll do my best. I'm going to show my work in progress car meet map. Seeing as James is watching the stream, shout out to his fat ass. <laughs> I'm going to show the work in progress car meet map. This is one of many which I'm going to be using. James has actually got a few as well that he's made in the past with um, Where's the Massacre. He's actually made a few himself and JS Gaming. So, are we under saved? Neary's car meet one. Go fuck yours, elf. I go fuck yours, elf. Okay. <laughs> you annoying prick. K. Okay. I'm gonna annoy this kid forever. So anyway, we're here. Um, it's actually plot me in an alpha. So this is where you're gonna start on the map. I don't know what he's put him anyway. So you just follow the checkpoints, the checkpoints will actually take you to many of the locations we've got going. So I'm going to do a quick run through this car meet map and then I'll be closing the stream before James gets any more angrier than he actually is. I think he's left actually, he may have left. So this is the first location, you pull into here, drive down here. So we got industrial lights to light the place up. There's the caravans. They're just you know, they're just props, you know, no practical use. Got the hot dog stands and a few flags have been put up as well. Pretty basic. You remember this is my first one. So anyway, we're gonna move out of here and then what people have failed to realise is that GTA races actually have nitrous. So for the drag race part portion of the map, uh, this shot is called My First Map James. Be nice. So, well, people have actually failed to realise that you get nitrous on GTA races, so I've actually put that in and gave it a practical use in the drag races, finally. A long awaited nitrous in car meets. Move that checkpoint. Why should I? Here's the drag strip. Um, this has actually taken up most of my <laughs> prop storage for the creator, but you gotta remember this is my first map. So this is this is the nitro station, you go pick up your boost. There's a start and the finish for each there's each lane here, two one v one. That's a short burst, power shot, brings up to a steady 100 miles per hour in the Alpha anyway. And then, as soon as you go past that entire wall, that is when the drag race ends, you turn around, and then you drive up this side. You drive up this side, back to the back, back to the front, or the start, sorry. So that is the drag racing portion of the map. Before I leave, I'm going to pick up another nitrous pickup. Just for the drive. What's with all the tyres? Uh, that's called a wall, James. You know, they stop people from crashing into each other. I know, I just addressed that. In case you listen to what I've been saying for the past 10 minutes, James, I actually address that I've wasted all my props. Seeing as he's the only one that's watching, I'm just going to get this over and done with pretty quickly. 
so I can get this uploaded as a standalone video and change the name of it. The nitruses are actually in short burst. Oh, and he's gone. Yeah, I'll see ya later. Heck. This map actually isn't even live yet, it's just one of my public, my saved maps which is ready to be published. Gotta remember though, you've got the main location, so really we could do a few smaller locations on the way just to make the most of the actual map itself instead of just using areas with loads of plots flat around the place the only downside of doing car meets in maps like this is the fact that you get to um, you, well, you're not allowed to open and close your hoods which is what most people that host car meets actually allow us we don't really do that as much but we do sometimes when we're in friends only lobbies and stuff like that. So this is the final location. You should, probably should have seen this one coming, but anyway. Finish line I've actually changed because when I've tested this previously, I actually ran over the finish line by accident, but I've now moved the finish line outside of the estate over to where that college slash always a university or something anyway here's the final location so flags everywhere industrial lights set up and I can't get out of my car I would get out of my car and show but since this is a test run they ain't actually going to allow you to do that We've got flags, we've got lights set up everywhere, and I've just crashed into an immovable power box. This is the main photography area, we've got a stand set up in the pond. It's probably where the showcase area would be, you'd have your cars lined up here. Uh, maybe if the lobby's quite big, people just have their cars and parts in random places. I don't do my meet for the purely for photos, I just get some done when and where I can. But anyway, so that's the end of this location, or actually the map actually. So that's pretty much it here. And then to end the race, you simply you don't drive into the rocks. To end the race. If you drive out, go right, you don't crash into the wall, and then you just simply drive here. So that's the test, oh I've actually completed the test run now, so I could get this map uploaded. Hmm. I'm not going to, I can't really be asked, so I'll just do it in my own time. So what do I do now? I think that's pretty much that's pretty much it what I wanted to do. I weren't really planning on having the car meet map in the video but that's pretty much it for this live stream. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe if you're new. See you later.